Many gardeners seek out at least one shrub with sunny yellow blossoms because the color yellow is widely considered to be the most upbeat. Yellow's vividness stands out against nearly any backdrop, but particularly against the dark green of plant leaves and the earthy browns of fences, branches, and mulch. These are seven excellent options for yellow flowering shrubs, most of which can survive winters in zones five or six. Number one, Forsythia. Perhaps no other shrub does more to brighten the moods of gardeners come springtime than the Forsythia bush. One of the more common kinds is Forsythia X intermedia. Forsythia is an early bloomer and its bright yellow blossoms herald the end of winter like few others. The ideal soil would be well-drained and relatively clay tolerant. Number two, yellow roses. The gold medal rose shrub is guaranteed to offer you happiness as yellow roses have dual meanings in the language of flowers as symbols of friendship and celebration. The height and width of the plant are each around four to six feet. Late spring and early summer are peak blooming times. If you want your rose bush to blossom again, you should deadhead the flowers as is standard practice. Number three, Mahonia shrub. Mahonia is a genus of barberry shrubs that includes several different species. They share a close genetic relationship with the more popular barberry bushes used in residential landscaping. In April, Japanese Mahonia blooms with delicately golden flowers. It reaches a height of five to seven feet and a width of seven to 10 feet when mature earning it the common names Oregon Grape and Oregon Grape Holly. They're hardy from zones six to nine. Number four, Hypericum hide coat. It is hardy in USDA plant hardiness zones five through nine, grows to a height and breadth of two to four feet, and blooms continuously throughout the summer. Some kinds are just as eye-catching with their golden blossoms and the variety-specific berries they produce in the fall. Number five, Lydian broom. Growing zones five to nine are ideal for Lydian broom. Put it where the sun can shine directly on it. It does well in sandy soil and tolerates drought. Give it plenty of water and apply soil additives to improve the soil if you're worried about it spreading out of control. Although the leaves on these drought-resistant shrubs are somewhat small, the early June burst of vivid yellow flowers more than makes up for it. Number six, Camellia nitidissima. The cold can kill a camellia rather quickly. They are well liked in the early springtime in warm climates, such as the southeast of the United States. Their glossy, dark green foliage are a sight to behold. They are available in several hues, some even being two-tone. If you live in zone eight or nine, or perhaps 10, you can grow the yellow-flowered Camellia nitidissima in your garden. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.